G'day folks, just thought I'd give you another look at the uh, flaked woods axial fan. This is the main motor down here, I originally had a bigger reversing motor on it but deemed it unnecessary. So I got this double spindle job out of a, um, I think it's a very big outdoor package air conditioner. It's the same kind of motor as I have on the uh, drill press as well. I had two of those air conditioners. But they were well and truly rooted so I pulled them apart and kept the motors. A tape lock pulley and there's my improvised bearing mount and these are some of the fan blades, this is the right hand glass filled nylon you can see the aerofoil design left hand polypropylene again designed for a different type if these were fitted to that drive plate they'd be pulling air into the room rather than discharging it those are actually right hand blades configured to blow air rather than suck it. And when they're mounted axially directly on a motor shaft these can be arranged in the duct work as a two stage unit. That is you have left hand blades on one impeller and right hand blades on the other impeller so that the air is discharged from the first fan directly into the second one which further accelerates it through the duct and it's called a, uh, like a two stage system they call it can't quite remember it's been such a while since I worked for them but you could use left hand blades on one impeller with a slightly less, slightly less of a pitch angle say 23 degrees or something and you have your right hand primary blades with 30 degree pitch and you just mount the fans in series from each other so one discharges into the other and that applies for the big cast aluminum TR series fans as well I don't have an example of one of them but I've built anything up to 75 inches in diameter and I can tell you now they are big heavy fans the output shaft of the motor that they directly attach to can be up to 110 millimeters in diameter that was one of the jobs I did was actually boring the hubs and that's a similar size unit to what I used to build. I never did the ductwork or motors, they stopped doing that a while ago. They had them assembled off site by another contractor. See it's got a bit of dust build up on it now. About time to clean it. There's a centre bush mounted to the motor shaft via a key and a retaining bolt. And you just got four screws holding the drive plate on. pretty quiet considering the power it's got. That's why I went for a belt drive reduction. Direct drive with another old motor was just excessively noisy and powerful. <laughs> 